Hello my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria and I have a message that I wanna share with you guys today. So there's a few messages that came through and this one came through a few days ago. I sat with it and it has shapeshifted and evolved in a really interesting way. I saw on a fence through my third eye vision, um, a cardinal, a mockingbird, and a crow. And I saw, as Spirit showed me these messages, as Spirit showed me these birds, and I asked, like, what is the significance of this? I heard something similar. I don't want to, I didn't write it down, so I don't want to, I don't want to say the verbatim, but it was, they need, I heard the words, they need to hear it from you. They need to hear it directly from you. And then I sat and I watched and I saw the birds kind of looking at each other and looking back and then looking directly towards. And what this means, and this is why I wanted to take so long to sit with it because I wanted to A, bring discernment to it, but also bring to you the best advice that came from this seed of this message that felt like it was going to continue to grow. So I don't know if this is something that's going to be growing in addition, you know, in your life or amplifying is the word that is that I heard after you originally hear this or if this is something that for me before I brought it to you, it needed to con to grow before I could give it to you, right? So I, I really did sit with this and I started realizing that each of those birds represented a different song, a different voice, a different perspective. And one thing that I specifically saw was someone who was comparing themselves, their voice, their voice, their gift to the voices of other people, not realizing that they're not meant to be specifically high pitched, which was the energy. It was like more high pitched, more well received, initially received. There's a soulfulness that you bring to the table that you contribute that needs to be heard and won't be felt by the majority immediately, but it will be felt by those who need to hear it and feel it the most when it's time. And that is such a specific message. I did not feel a sense that this bird questioned their gift. So that gives me a, a strong confirmation that you do not question your gift. You know that you are gifted. You know that your voice is that like valuable and should be heard. I think that you have I don't know why, but spirit is watching you kind of understand that you might be second or third, like the second or third voice to be heard and not this high pitched, I don't want to say shriek, but this high, high pitched shrill noise that people take notice first before their souls and their spirits guide them back into a more soulful place. As I'm saying that out loud, I can actually see how this message is not exclusively applied to singers. So maybe this is why. Spirit was saying like it needs, it, this message is going to grow. Like it's not gonna stay in the space that it is that it originally showed up in. Um, I was thinking that this message was for singers because it was so specifically like a message about a singer. Um, I could honestly see how this is a person who shares their voice and shares their light with the world. So I guess maybe even like social media, kind of similar to what is it I'm doing today and how there's so many voices out there that are so shrill. They're almost shrieking and because of their uh, drawing of attention, because of the shrillness of it, there's something about it that is energetically jarring to people that it's the first thing that gets noted, it's the first thing that gets pr promoted, it's the first thing that people hear and notice. They take notice to, but over time, the truth is, is that people don't need that shrieking, that shrillness, they need soul. And I compared it to how a soulful singer really speaks to an energy, like an essence. That message is more than just a song. It's the pauses, it's the rhythm, it's the depth, it's the words. A, a person who is tr truly and genuinely soulful, everything that they do and everything that they don't do contributes to the moment, contributes to the moment and not everybody is going to get it. Not everybody's going to understand it, but those who do, they will appreciate it and it will go the distance. It's that song, that message, that word, that energy, that presence that lingers and it, it lasts versus something that is temporary and vapid or vapid or vapid and 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 not meant it's it's meant to be transient. It's meant to be trending. And spirit says to those of you that bring soul 
your voice needs to be heard. Your perspective needs to be shared. You, you need to make sure that you don't need to fight your way to be heard, to be seen, but that you understand the importance of what you bring. There's no doubt in your mind. There's no doubt or no, no question about your talent. That is true as day versus night. It is obvious. But I think that there's, I guess spirit is so generous and this is one of the things I love about the divine is that it will not, even if you know something, it still will come through with a word, a promise, words of affirmation or a promise or a message to let you know that you are being still fully held. And I love that. So that is the message, yo. I receive it. <laughs> I really do. All right, my loves. I'm going to go take my horse for a walk because she's just so invasive today and a lot of lovings. And um, I send you guys all of my love and I wish you the best and I hope that you're well and I hope that this resonates for those who it's meant to. Can you sit down? Sit down. Do you want to see how good she is? Sit. Good girl. Good girl. She has the longest nails. Thank you. Okay, bye.